Hi, welcome to the Center of Maths Problem of the Week. This week our problem is use Fermat's Little Theorem to solve 4x is congruent to 11 modulo 19. Uh, there are many methods you could use to solve this congruence, but since we're working with modulo 19 and 19 is a prime number, we are able to use Fermat's Little Theorem. Before we use it, we first want to check how many solutions this linear congruence is going to have. Um, if we have the linear congruence in the form of AX is congruent to B modulo M, and we let the greatest common divisor of A and M equal D, and if D divides B, then there are exactly D solutions. So in our problem, we have the GCD, we're going to let A equal 4 and D equal 19. The greatest common divisor is 1, and 1 divides 11, so there's one solution. And by solution, I mean congruent classes modulo 19. Um, now we're going to apply Fermat's Little Theorem. If you don't remember Fermat's Little Theorem, it's if we have a prime number p, we take any integer a that's not divisible by p, and we can raise a to the power of p minus 1, and it's congruent to 1 modulo p. In our problem, a is equal to 4, and p is 19. So Fermat's little theorem tells us that 4 to the 18th is congruent to 1 modulo 19. So we'll take this congruent and we'll multiply both sides by x. We have x is congruent to 4 to the 18th x. And then we just rewrite 4 to the 18th as 4 to the 17th times 4. We have 4x and we know that 4x is congruent to 11 modulo 19, so we re replace the 4x. So we have x is congruent to 4 to the 17th times 11 modulo 19. Uh, now we just have to reduce this and simplify. So we're just rewriting 4 to the 17th. Um, we can rewrite 4 as 2 to the 2nd, so we have 2 to the 2nd to the 17th. This reduces to 2 to the 34th. 34 is equal to 16 plus 18, so we can use the product rule of exponents to write this as 2 to the, 2 to the 16th times 2 to the 18th. And 16 just is 4 raised to the power of 4. 18 is 6 raised to the power of 3. So now we have 4 to the 17th is equal to 16 to the 4th times 64 to the 3rd. Um, now we can simplify more. Uh, when 64 is divided by 19, there's a remainder of 7. Um, so 64... Sixty four is congruent to seven modulo nineteen, so we can replace the sixty four with a seven. And then sixteen is congruent to negative three modulo nineteen, so we replace the sixteen with a negative three. All right. For this step, all we did was break up seven to the third to seven to the second times seven. So now we have four, 4 to the 17th is congruent to 49 times 7 times 81. Um, when 49 is divided by 19, there's a remainder of 11, so we replace the 49 with an 11, um, 7 can stay the same, and then when 81 is divided by 19, there's a remainder of 5. I will just reduce this to write seven, 
11 times 7 is 77 times 5. And then when 77 is divided by 19, there's a remainder of 1. So now we've reduced it to 4 to the 17th is congruent to 5 modulo 19. Um, so we can go back to what we found in the beginning, which is x is congruent to 4 to the 17th times 11. And we can we'll replace 4 to the 17th with 5. And now we have x is congruent to 55 in our last step is to reduce it one more. And when 55 is divided by 19, there's a remainder of 17, since 55 is congruent to 17 modulo 19. So. so our solution to, four, for our, to our linear congruence, 4x is congruent to 11 modulo 19, is all the integers in the set that are congruent to 17. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our blog, check out centerofmath.org, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.